Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing a quiz website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, this is how it works. We can see that we have this question and we have four options over here, and we have 10 seconds for each of the questions. And after 10 seconds, the next question is being displayed. And then we can select one of these options. So I'll just select a wrong option. And now we can see we have this red background color over here. And then we have another question and let's select the right answer over here. And now we can see we have this green color for the right answer. And uh, now we have the next question. So let's select one of these options. And we can also click on the next button to go to the next question. And let's click on next. And now we can see that we have the result displayed over here and we have scored one out of five. So here we can see for the first question, we haven't answered the question. So it says not answered and we have the correct answer displayed over here. Now for all the wrong answers, we have this red background color. And then we can see we have the second question and we have answered it incorrectly. And here is the correct answer. And then we have the third question, which is answered correctly. And then we have the next questions over here. And then we also have this option of retaking the quiz. Now the questions over here are selected randomly from a bunch of questions. So we have five questions displayed randomly. And these options over here are also randomly placed. So right now Isaac Newton is displayed in the first place. But later it may be displayed in any other place over here. So this is how this quiz works. So in this video, we will just design it using HTML and CSS. And in the next videos, we will add the JavaScript to add the functionality. So let's get started. All right, so here I have created this folder called quiz and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create the necessary file. So let's click on new file. Let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html. Let's create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And let's create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Now let's go ahead and link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the href, let's type style.css. And in the body, let's type script colon src and press tab. And here let's type main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. So let's create a division and let's give it a class of quiz container. And in this, the first thing we need to have is this uh, heading. So I'll just copy this heading from here. And uh, let's create an H1. And uh, here, let's paste the heading. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create this timer. So for that, let's create a division with the class of timer. And in that we need to type time left. And uh, by default, it'll be 10 seconds. And the next thing we need to do is create this question. So for the question, let's create an H2 and let's give it a class of question. And I'll just copy this question from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now, the next thing we need to do is add the options. So here we have four options. So let's create a container division for that and I'll just give it a class of options. And uh, for each of the options, let's create buttons and uh, I'll just give it a class of option. And let's go ahead and add some options over here. I'll just type Jane Austen. And I'll just copy this uh, three more times. Right now, the next thing we need to have is the next button. So here after this options division, Let's create a button and let's give it a class of next BTN. And here let's type next. All right, that's basically it with this screen right here. Now let's go ahead and style it using CSS. So here let's go to the style.css file. And first of all, let's target the quiz container. So I just type quiz container. And uh, here the first thing we will do is we will add a font family and uh, let's set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. And now let's go ahead and add a max width and let's set it to 900 pixels. And uh, let's set a margin of zero auto. Let's go ahead and open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. 
So once you have that installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we have our design displayed in the browser. Right now let's go back and uh, let's add some padding as well for smaller screens. So here I'll just type padding and let's set it to 16 pixels. Right now let's go ahead and style the timer. So for the timer we have this division with the class of timer. So here let's type quiz container timer. And uh, for the timer we will set the font weight to bold. And uh, we will set the text align to right. And when we are less than three seconds, we need to have this timer displayed as a red color. So for that, we will add a class called danger. So let's type timer dot danger. And here let's type color red. So here if we go back to our HTML and here if we add the class danger. Now we can see we have red color. Right now let's go ahead and style the question. So for the question we have this h2 with the class of question. So here let's type quiz container h2 dot question. And first of all let's set the font size to 20 pixels. And uh, let's set a background color and uh, let's set it to d0 ecff. And let's add a padding of 16 pixels. And uh, let's set the border radius of 8 pixels so that we have rounded corners. And let's set the font weight to normal. So I just have font weight normal. And we'll also set a line height for larger questions. And we'll just set it to 1.6. Right now, let's go ahead and style these options. So let's go back and uh, let's target the container division, which is options. So let's type quiz container options. And we'll set the display to grid. And we'll set it to grid template columns. And uh, let's set it to 1fr, 1fr, which means two columns. And now we can see we have two columns for the options. And let's also add a gap. So let's type gap and let's set it to 16 pixels. And let's add a margin bottom for the options. So let's type margin bottom and let's set it to 20 pixels. Right now, let's style these buttons. So for the buttons, we have this button with the class of option. Let's target that. Let's type quiz container option and let's set the border to none and we'll set a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom 32 pixels left and right and let's set the font size to 18 pixels and uh, let's set the background color to 1d3557 and let's set the color of the text to white let's also set the cursor to pointer for these options and also this next button so I'll just target all the buttons. So I'll just type button and here let's type quiz container. And here let's type cursor pointer. And now we can see we have this pointer. Right now the next thing we need to do is once one of these options is clicked, all these options should be disabled. So the user should not be able to change the answer after selecting one of these answers. Because after selecting the answer, we are essentially displaying them whether the answer is correct or not based on the background color. So let's go back and uh, let's add a class called disabled. So once we have this disabled class, I'll just set the pointer events to none. Right now, let's set the colors for the right and the wrong answers. So for the right answer, we'll be having a class called correct. So let's type option dot correct and if the answer is correct let's set the background color to 51 e351 and let's set the color of the text to 222 and now let's go back over here to the html and here let's type correct and now we can see we have the color for the correct answer right now let's go back and let's type option dot incorrect and when we have the incorrect answer, we need to set the color to E63946. And let's go back over here and let's add the incorrect class over here. So let's type incorrect. And now we can see we have the color for the incorrect answer. Right now let's style this next button over here. For the next button, we have this button with the class of next BTN. 
So let's go ahead and type quiz container next btn and let's set the background color to 222 and let's set the color of the text to white and let's remove the border so let's tap border none and let's add a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right let's set the font size to 20 pixels and let's set the text transform to uppercase and uh, let's also set the font weight to bold and uh, we will set the letter spacing to 3 pixels all right that's basically it with this screen right here now let's go ahead and style the results page so let's go back to our html and uh, here let's add a new division and let's give it a class of quiz result and uh, in that let's go ahead and create an h2 and here let's type you have scored four out of five now when the quiz result is displayed this uh, should not be displayed so for now let's go ahead and hide this so here for the quiz container i'll just set the display to none right now let's go ahead and add the questions so here after this heading let's go ahead and create a division with a class of question container and in this we need to have the question and the user's answer and also the correct answer so let's type question and here let's add the question so i'll just copy this same question from here and uh, let's paste it over here and now let's add the user answer so let's create a division with the class of user answer and uh, here let's type your answer and here we can add the answer of the user so for now i'll just type not answered and then we need to add the correct answer so let's create a division with the class of correct answer and here let's type correct answer and here we can add the correct answer now in the same way we need to have five of these question containers because we have five questions in our quiz so let's copy this and i'll just paste it five more times and here we can see we have five question container divisions and in the end we also need to have a button and let's give it a class of retake button so this will be the button for retaking the quiz and here let's type retake quiz and we'll add the same styling that we have for the next button for this retake button so here let's type quiz result retake btn And now we can see we have the same styling added over here and we'll also set the cursor to pointer right now when the answer is incorrect we also need to add a class over here so that we have a red background color so here i'll just type incorrect right now let's go ahead and style this so here in the style or css file let's type quiz result and uh, let's set the display to flex and the flex direction to column and we will have a gap of 24 pixels between the elements and uh, let's set a max width of 900 pixels and let's bring it to the center by typing margin zero auto and for this also let's set the font family to roboto sans serif and let's also add a padding of 16 pixels right now let's target these question containers so let's type quiz result question container and we'll set a padding of 12 pixels and uh, let's set a border of one pixel solid light gray and let's also add some gap between these uh, elements so let's set the display to flex flex direction to column and let's set a gap of 10 pixels and for the incorrect answer we need to have a red background color so let's type quiz result question container dot incorrect and let's set the background color to e63946 and we'll set the color of the text to white and for the retake quiz button we need to have 
the width of the content so here let's type width and let's set it to fit content and now we can see we have the correct width and everything looks all right so that's basically it with the styling of our quiz website from the next video we will start adding the functionality using javascript all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day